to see the glory of God upon your life. If there's something you need to be sensitive with, it's the voice of God in your life. It is very easy to read the Bible and quote the Bible, but it is not easy to hear the voice of God because it is not you. It is him now to respond through your heart. This is why you need to be cautious and sensitive enough. Jesus, when he was here on earth, he went through a lot. Rejection, name calling, hmm, name them. Accusing him wrongly. But because of his constant relationship with his father, the glory of God was always around his life. Whatever will come out of his mouth is not his word, but the word with the power of God. So when you, you, you know you start praying now, you need to reset or maybe reposition yourself for his attention by making sure that you check your heart, your mind, the life that you live, because God is not a man whom you can, you know, attract with your, your dress code. No. It is the heart. I may dress well with a tie and a jacket. My inside is not like that. You can call me servant of God, man of God, prophet of God. My inside, if it is not that, you are just wasting your time. This prayer we are about to offer it's a prayer that has been prayed long time ago by your father. What you need to do is just to, you know, to touch the throne of mercy through your heart so that the glory, the glory of God will come upon your life. Listen to what we read from verse 3 in Second Peter chapter 1. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. So it is the power of God that can give you a godly what? Life. It is not what you think, but what you receive from him. Every child of God, whenever you are standing or kneeling down or lying down, praying, you are not alone. There are angels on both sides so that you become the flame. What you confess is what you appear spiritually. If you say Holy Ghost fire, they will see you as fire in the dream, in the vision, in the spiritual world. The Bible says that his clothes were flashing like lightning. If you continue reading, the Bible says that a crowd came down and cover them. And the voice spoke in that crowd to say, this is my son. This is my what? Can Satan come near you? No. When Jesus said, this is my daughter, the ancestral will not claim you again. Spiritual husband will not claim you again. When that crowd come over your life, you are no longer on your own. You are not part of that family limitation. Rising and falling. Premature death. Limited in resources. No! Because everything that you see in this life was created through him and for him. In that book of John, chapter 1, verse 4. Here is the hand. Just a symbol. Say, Lord Jesus. I stand here in your name, Jesus. In humility and humbleness in my heart. Say in humility and humbleness in my heart to declare the glory of God upon my life. As it was on that mountain where you were praying 
so shall it be upon my life. I stand here, face your mountain, your altar, carrying your promise, carrying your covenant. Let me see your glory upon my life. Say, let me see your glory upon my life. Say, let me see your glory upon my life. Declare that one in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name. Listen to this. We are not going to spend, you know, hours or minutes. No. We need to see the glory of God. When God is involved in your life, it can only take a second that you are no longer yourself. Something has come upon your life. This is what we need as Christians. Stop believing in this, you know, a religious type of worship where you think when you spend hours, when you read from Genesis to Revelation, you hear God. No. If your relationship with him is questionable, you can read the whole Bible. Only the ancestral that will appear to you. And start questioning, why are you reading the Bible? We are facing the altar, the mountain of Jesus, dedicated to him. Come on. Father, Père, we are here to see your glory. The glory you experience, that is the life you promise us. That is the life you said you send it to us. Let your glory be seen upon our lives for the salvation of our soul. Mm. Mm. Let your glory where there is darkness the glory of God will come upon your life. Where there is sickness, addiction, family case, sickness, disease, limitation, the glory of God will come upon your life so that you become unstoppable. So that there will be no limitation. No rejection, no failure, no premature death. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are yet to see. The glory of God. His face changed. I stretch my right hand to change your face from that ancestral mask to the Holy Ghost face. So that you shine every time. You shine every second. You shine every minute. You shine in your dreams. You shine in your room. You shine in your business. You shine in your company. You shine when you are driving. You shine when you are sleeping. You shine when you are eating. You shine when you are walking. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remain quiet. Only the glory of God will talk. Our viewers get connected. You will see the glory of God in your house. You will see the glory of God in that room where you are. You will see the glory of God wherever you are watching us from. It is not a question of who is praying for you, it is Jesus' glory. This is what He promised you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm. Your face must change. Your clothes must change. In the name of Jesus. 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 The Holy Ghost is changing your face. Removing that mask. Removing that snake face. Removing that spiritual man. Spiritual human. Witchcraft. And giving you the face of the Holy Ghost. Now start shining. Start shining. Let me see the shining face. The shining face. The shining face. The shining face. Mm. Mm. Can I see your right hand? Thank you, Lord Jesus. That spirit of mental disorder, epilepsy, when the glory of God descended upon you, they will disappear, they will be quenched. Come on. His face changed. 
His clothes were flashing like lightning. Your light hand is that word from Jesus. Is that appearance of Jesus? Is that shining of Jesus like lightning? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Touch your forehead. Yes. 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 Please take care. We are in the spirit. Touch your face. Touch your face. Cut and pump for me. Uh -huh. You start shining from there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <sighs> yes. <sighs> yes. Yes. Your face must change. Your clothes must change. Everything must change. Your appearance must change. Ready to achieve your goal. Ready to be promoted. Ready to recover. Yes. We don't need our voices anymore. Just your heart. Yes. Mm. Mm. Come on. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just like that, the Holy Ghost is at work. Mm. Mm. The Holy Ghost is at work. He will strike your body now. He will strike your body to quench that poison, that evil nature, that sickness, that spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just like that. Even in your dream today. You will see that light. Before you leave you are going to see it now. In your dreams you will see that light. Because you will be the light. The glory of God upon your life. The glory of God upon your life. Upon your marriage. Your children. Your business. Your career. Your education. Your exam. Your dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Go and shine. Go and shine. You start now. You enter your room. You enter your compound. You are the light. When you are praying, you need to see the glory of God to encourage you that you are not talking to the air. When you see the power of God, you'll be encouraged. You will be motivated. Even the people who are surrounded you will be motivated. The next thing that you see is the result. What you need in life. What you want to become. It is not the effort of the flesh. It is a free gift from God Almighty. If you can reposition yourself for his attention. The monitoring spirit will no longer be in charge over your life. But the light of God, the glory of God will accompany you. Is here. His divine power has given you everything you need for a godly life. This is what you are receiving. Carry it home. Carry it in your business. Carry it in your ministry. In your family. Let your business boom. Let everything boom. In the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I hope this light will keep on, you know, growing, 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 and become a big frame over your life. Thank you. Let me support your, your, your prayer as you are touching your face. Mm. I stamp his word and his appearance upon your life. I stamp it upon your life. I stamp it upon your forehead. His appearance, the appearance of his clothes, flashing like lightning, I stamp it upon your life. Go and flash like lightning in your dreams, in your house, in your business. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. There are people that I promise, come and get your, your, your fruit. You are, you are there. I know the, their faces. Mm -hmm. Ah. Please let them go and get. There's no time to waste. I know their faces. I talked to two, three, four individuals for stone. Come and get your stone, please. Uh -huh. Go and get your, your easy fruit. Eh? Easy fruit. Go and get. No, stone I'll give you fruit you get by yourself. Can I see your right hand? We are blessed by Jesus. We are what? Uh, we are blessed by Jesus. Uh, say, I'm blessed by Jesus. My hands are blessed with the blessings of the Lord. Anything I touch shall be blessed. 
In Jesus' name. Say, I'm blessed. I'm a fire now. Say, I'm blessed. I'm a fire now. In Jesus' name. Remember to carry your covenant child. I, I, you, you know the covenant we made. Anyway, uh, let me uh, swallow this one. You see the fruit of this covenant. People from very far, what they are testifying concerning this. We are going higher. Eh? We are what? I'm standing here. I am not alone. My pastor, eh, carry this home. I am not what? Ah, you want a stone? Hmm. Thank you. This covenant badge, if you don't know this, I soak with the blood of Jesus. And I cover with the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus Christ's name. God bless you. Forge Cup Ministries is a Bible-based church. Our mission is to bring people to Jesus Christ. God's word is above all things. It's sharper than any double-edged sword, penetrating to your soul and your spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit and open your heart as you make God's word the standard for your life. Promise TV, bringing people to Jesus Christ.